Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So I have for you a free primal moves exercise that you can try for core and abs. And th those exercises are great for your mobility, strength, flexibility, and also your core strength and balance. So let's give them a try and let's go. This is the wave and load into a single leg downward dog reach. You're gonna start with the wave and load by initiating the movement with your hips. Extend your knees, keep your heels high and keep your head neutral. Simultaneously tuck the shin and posteriorly tilt the pelvis starting the flexion wave. Wave travels through the spine. Open the chest and drive the pelvis towards the floor. Set the scapula back and down, lift the shin from the chest and bring your eyes to the sky. Once the shoulders are in forward shoulder load, the hips begin to drop, starting the extension wave. Keep the elbows straight and your toes tucked throughout. Make sure to squeeze the glutes. Then you're gonna set loaded beast again and initiate the movement by lifting the hips and reaching pike position. Keep your knees extended, your heels high and your head neutral. Keep your core engaged throughout the movement. From loaded beast, you're then gonna bring your knee to your elbow and then you're gonna bring your leg up as high up as you can by squeezing the glutes and bringing your head in between your arms. Then perform the movement on the other side by bringing your knee to your elbow and then bringing your hips as high as you can and extending your leg by squeezing the glutes. Then lower down your hips and bring back your knee to your elbows and return to a loaded beast. Then perform the whole movement again in a slow and controlled way. You can do for a few repetitions, for about three sets of six or eight repetitions, depending on your level. This is the side kick through into a pike toe touch. Start in a beast position with your shoulders above your wrist and your hips above your knees. Your knees should take off a few inches from the floor. Take your opposite leg and opposite end of the floor. Start creating some space and dropping the heel of the leg that is on the floor to create some space and you're going to start to bring your knee through of the opposite side. Make sure that your shoulders stays above your hand. The first option is to just bring your knee through. Make sure that your base arm is straight and shoulder protracted. The opposite elbow is at or just above the same side shoulder. Make sure to squeeze your shoulder blades and engage your core. Keep your core engaged and repeat on the other side. Repeat on the other side by taking your opposite hand and opposite leg from the floor and bring your knee through. And again, uh, bring your elbow at the same level or just above your shoulder and squeeze your shoulder blades. 
and then go back to the beast position. Then you're gonna perform an easier version of the pike toe touches by bringing your knee to your elbow. And then do the same on the other side. Keep your core braced and engaged. For a more advanced option of the side kick through, you're gonna take your opposite leg and opposite hand from the floor and you're gonna create some gap to bring your knee through again. And this time you're gonna fully extend your legs and you're gonna point your toes. And again, with the shoulder, it's gonna be the same. You're gonna bring your elbow at or above the same side shoulder and you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades and repeat on the other side. Keep your core engaged. You can perform three sets of about six to eight repetitions, depending on your level. Then you're gonna perform the pike into two touches. From the beast position, you're gonna bring your hips as high as you can, and you're gonna simultaneously bring your toe to your wrist. Your shoulder should lean forward onto your wrist and your weight should be transferring onto your shoulders. Keep your core braced and bring your toe to your wrist and then return to the beast position and repeat on the other side. Make sure to keep your toes pointed. For the loaded beast into front step, you have two options. The first option is to do a loaded beast into an unloaded beast. Start in a loaded beast with your hands in front of your shoulders extended and your hips on your heels. Initiate the movement by gripping the ground, pushing through the feet and pulling the shoulders forward. Elbows stay extended, knees stay flexed, one inch or two, three centimeters of the ground. Shoulders travel in front of the wrist, staying protracted throughout the movement. Make sure that your pelvis tilt posteriorly and that you are keeping your neck long and the eyes to the ground. Maintain your knees flexed into a low position. Return to loaded beast by pressing the ground away and sending your hips back to the heels. The second option is to do a loaded beast into a front step. Drive forwards out of the loaded beast, lifting the leg and the same side hand simultaneously. The foot lands outside of and slightly in front where the hand was originally positioned. Lift your head to bring the eyes to the horizon. Keep your chest high and the knees flexed. The base arm should be straight and the opposite arm should be in attack head position. So your elbows should be back, tucked in and squeeze your shoulder blades. The palm is facing forward and the elbow is pulling directly back. Shoulders travel in front of the wrist, staying protracted throughout the movement. The pelvis tilts posteriorly and the neck is long, eyes to the ground, and keep your knees flexed into a low position. Mm -hmm. 
Initiate the return to loaded beast by simultaneously driving the attack hand down to the floor as the leg lifts. Send the hips back to find the perfect loaded beast. You can perform 3 sets of 12 repetitions, so 6 repetitions on each side. Keep your core engaged throughout the movement. So thank you for joining those exercises. I hope you enjoy them and you had fun. And if you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like and subscribe and comment and I will be happy to help you. If you want also to have a look at my online courses, they are on my website at tishkefit.co.uk and uh, you can learn some calisthenics, introduction to calisthenics and also running. And you can also find some samples uh, so you can try. And if you're happy with it, you can buy them. And uh, those are great if you want to learn calisthenics and improve your running. Uh, I hope to see you soon. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.